The number one regret that people had, people who were dying, who knew that they were crossing over and making their transition, the top regret of it was I wish I'd had the courage to live the life that I knew I was destined to live. In other words, that I had a purpose, that I knew that there was something greater that I came here to do, that I signed up for something other than just to fit in and to, to go along and to follow somebody else's rules. And <clears throat> most of us are not, uh, don't allow ourselves the freedom to listen to those internal callings. Here's the next one. Exercise your willpower to change direction. You don't have to keep doing what you've done the last six years if it's not yielding you the benefits you want. Here's what you can do. Pick a new destination and start going that way. You say, well, I've done this for the last two years. I'll probably have to do it another two. And the answer is no, not in a million years. Now you can change one little degree at a time, or if you want to, you can revolutionize the whole thing. Who says you couldn't revolutionize the whole thing in a week's time and start a brand new direction that will most assuredly help you arrive in a brand new place a year from now, three years from now, no telling, five years from now. You're on the verge of having a life that most people can't even begin to imagine. Use your willpower to start the process. Just willpower to change a little, or change a lot, anybody can change. You don't have to repeat last year. Clean up the errors. Invest it now in the next year. Watch it make the difference. But when you decide something is a must for you, an absolute must, when you cut off any possible, you just say, I'm gonna find the way or I'm gonna make the way. Human beings, when they resolve things and they make a real resolution inside themselves, which is they raise the standard and they make it a must, they find the way. Invest more of you in whatever you do. Be a little stronger, be a little wiser. Step up your vitality, contribution. Put everything you've got into everything you do and then ask for more vitality and more strength and more vigor. More heart, more soul. If you identify yourself in a new way and you own that every day and that becomes the standard of how you live, you'll find the way to make that standard real. When the imagination begins to soar, when we grasp opportunity, take advantage of what we got where we are, other doors open and they open wide. And yet when you set those goals, when that hope is born, when you persist day after day after day, folks, the very persistence itself brings a lot of things to pass. What you do is create a vision of who you want to be and then live into that picture as if it were already true. I got the grace for the life I lead, for the situations I confront, for the people I deal with, and for the problems I have in my life. And don't let my tears fool you. You may find me crying all the time, but when I get through crying, I will be swinging on you because I do have grace. Just when you're about to really reach the thing that you've been praying for for years and you're reaching out for it, and just when you're about to touch it, expect all hell to break loose in your life. In fact, it's a sign that you're coming into your season when you see the terror begin to come against your life. Look at somebody say, this is my season. See, when you say that, you're saying good things are coming up and bad things are coming up and it's all coming up at the same time. This must be my season. If I wasn't about to go into great harvest, the enemy wouldn't be attacking me like he's attacking me right now. This must be my season. God said, I considered the weight load before I put the pain in your life and I know you feel like you cannot handle it and I know you think 
that you cannot take it and I know you feel like you're going to lose your mind and I know you feel like driving off the cliff but I just want to tell you I'm not going to stop it I'm not going to take it away I'm not going to give you what you want but my grace is I got grace for this moment in my life I got grace for this situation, I got grace. I don't like it, but I got grace for it. It hurts, but I got grace for it. I'm in trouble, but I got grace for it. I may cry, but I got grace for it. I may be in turbulence, but I got grace. Now you have the power. It's up to you to achieve the impossible.